Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an interim recap of where we have gotten to. Today, we did what we call a reflection <coughs> and timbre, part uh, 16. So we what has been done so far, and we looked at our big diagrams, we had seen the big idea diagram and we updated it quite a, quite a bit. Um, we then went to the pulse, I mean the story image, and we reviewed that. And then we went to the uh, pulse story, and which was how we got to the idea of using pulses separated by rumbles and so forth. Then we said, well, how do we feel about what we've done so far? We like how we have four parts that stand out in the energy diagram, which we showed yesterday, or in the last stream, I should say four parts, one, two, three, four, and we liked how um, they progressed in the key, uh, the root C, D1, D2, and the G flat, and D1 and D2 were distinctly different melody sections. We liked the variations in time and complexity throughout the entire piece, which again can be seen by how these peaks and troughs go up and down, and yet there's still, an, these are kind of the sub arcs. Broop, broop, broop. With little sub dark, but there's an overall one, two, three, four going on, uh, which was our goal. And we like ending on G flat. We started from familiar territory, the root of C, and ended in G flat. Then we end wishes. We want to tweak the ending a little bit more. We want to come to that B G flat ending with just a little bit more uh, nuancing. Um, we're talking about adding parts for percussion, uh, more rows for ornaments, and we have this neat idea of slow and moving harmony um, that we want to continue with. So what do we do next? Well, what we start today is working on inline timbre changing. And so we created a timbre control panel, and we're going to play that for you. And the idea here is everything starts on the grand piano, but we've learned how to add these switches um, from up here in the menu to flip them. So grand piano, every time we want something to turn back into a grand piano, we'll copy and paste this switch. Every time we want something to turn into the horn and F, the French horn, it'll flip, paste this in there. And then if we want to change it back to grand piano on that line, and you can see where they actually change the part names down here with these switches. So we will end by playing these. So we have something musical and then uh, that'll wrap up today's session. <laughs> Already we can hear that being applied to this. Uh, except in voice or whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention on this stream. I look forward to seeing you in the next stream, especially as we start applying these timbres. And as always, keep on streaming. See you soon.